What is up guys and welcome to today's video where we'll be predicting the English Premier League winter upgrade prediction of FIFA 17. Now this is the part 2, so if you haven't watched the part 1 then you should definitely check out after um, watching this video because there's going to be some crucial plays there as well if you don't find any here because obviously this is the part 2 so I tried to improve on the last one. But anyway, so this squad or should I say um these players are mainly based on the Sky Sports um player rankings which I will show right now so it's mainly based also we're gonna start off with bunch of players which is gonna be Marcus Alonso as Piliqueta and Gary Cahill. Now starting with um Marcus Alonso he's been very solid signing for Chelsea so far and he's been doing really well in the in the in the left wing back position at first when I first signed um when I saw Chelsea sign Marcus Alonso I was thinking that he might just be a backup for Azpilicueta but Conte brought the three at the back which is very very successful which leads us to the next two defenders which is Azpilicueta and Cahill which I also gave them a bump of one extra um overall points which I think they should really deserve it considering how well Chelsea has been doing um defensively obviously they have finally conceded against um Tottenham um last game which was which is a very good shot by Ericsson if you haven't watched that that was a very nice shot by Ericsson but before that game Chelsea had a six game clean sheet in a row which is very impressive moving on to the next three players we got Henderson Coutinho and Firmino now this is the Liverpool boys now once again Liverpool is doing absolutely amazing this pick but moving on to um Henderson he's been doing pretty well um he's ranked pretty high in the English Premier League um play ranking as well which is pretty decent that's why I added him and moving on to Coutinho as well now he's been doing absolutely amazing unfortunately he did get injured um about a week ago and then he's going to be out for about five six weeks which is going to be a little bit of a problem for the play which is going to be Roberto Firmino um now now Firmino, this guy, he's been doing really well as well. He's been getting a lot of headers, which is kind of impressive. It is what we um what Liverpool need, and then when, obviously, there's a lot of injuries in Liverpool as well, and Sturridge is probably kind of underperforming, you can say that. And Firmino has been really doing well in this position. And then moving on to the next player, we have got Lalana, Matip, and McCall. Starting with Lalana, which I have already mentioned, he's been really doing well in Liverpool and also in the English national team as well. That's why I gave him a bump. And then Matip as well. Um, Liverpool's been pretty solid. Like you, you can't do well without defense being solid. And Matip was definitely one of the players that um played really really solid for Liverpool this season and he's I I believe that he's gonna continue to perform really good. And then moving on to McAuley as well now. He plays for West Brom um and then he's been scoring few goals um this season which is pretty impressive. That's why I gave him a bump um because that's not very usual. Maybe he's gonna be like Skirtle maybe even no, probably not but he's been scoring um some goals this season which is pretty impressive. That's why I gave him a bump as well. And then moving on to the next three plays we have got Pedro Walcott and Victor Wanyama. Starting with Pedro um Pedro's been very um impressive for Chelsea this season. Obviously um he he is now playing um I think he kind of replaced Willian even though I think Willian is going to go go back in on um, Pedro's spot soon but you can't deny that Pedro is doing really well he scored that crucial equalizer I think it's going to be picked as goal of the match day as well against Tottenham Hotspur that finesse shot that's just absolutely amazing really it's it's just so it's just so good to see like you get that feeling you, you get such a good feeling when the player scores a finish it just curves in so good mate and moving on to Walcott as well he's been I think he's been getting into form lately um now he's a good part of important part of Arsenal's squad as well. He's been banging in some goals lately. And then moving on to Victor Wanyama as well. Probably a little bit underrated. He was only 78 rated before. That's why I gave him a bump to 80 rating. And then moving on to the next three players, we have got Kyle Walker, um, Mon Monreal, and Fernandinho. Starting with Kyle Walker. Now he's been a decent part of um Tottenham Hotspur season this year. And then um he's been he's he's been doing decent at right back. You gotta really agree on that. Kyle Walker is getting back in form and then moving on to Monreal as well he's been doing pretty well this season as well on um, being solid in the left back of Arsenal and um, he's part of that really good um solid defense of Arsenal this season like Arsenal defense been pretty impressive this season as well and then moving on to Fernandinho as well um he's a little bit underrated as well um, nobody really mentions about him, but in my opinion, I think he's really important to Manchester City squad. I think Pep Guardiola already spoken that as well. But moving um, but that'll be it for today's video. If you have enjoyed it, please hit the like button, subscribe, and goodbye.